there is an event going on in Call of Duty right now. It's called the Cryptid Boot Camp. You can get a tiny Mothman keychain. We're getting him today. Hey, Post Production Butters here. This event is no longer live because this video should have gone up a week ago, but I've had crazy technical difficulties, but I'm still gonna upload, so enjoy. But first, intro. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, before we jump in, I have been changing out my office a little bit. I got a new lamp. I changed out this mirror. I moved it over and brought in my old one. I'm still undecided how I want to set up my office, but I want to make it feel as castle-y as possible, if that makes sense. You're going to see a lot of changes over time. I'm going to move this PC into view and hopefully have both of my two PCs stacked on top of each other. I think it's going to be really cool, but bear with me as things are changing. Also, I'm having a bad hair day. So we're just gonna ignore that, okay? <laughs> but before we jump into the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to Scuff really quick because speaking of castles, I mean, come on. There is a castle on my Scuff controller, as you can see right here in the corner. I decided it's time to move into this castle and make it my office. I use a Scuff Instinct. Oh, this is uh, my design. I should probably mention that. This is my design. It has me on the side of the controller, sunflowers, a swirl, castle, pumpkin right there, little guy. I have an Xbox version, but I also have, one second, I have a PS5 one. I also have two PS4 ones. And I have the PC one, the Envision Pro. I have no idea where it is right now. I moved. Anyways, you can use code Butters on scuff controllers if you want to. Yay. I love these things. I've been using them since 2012. So highly recommend. They're amazing. I am popping in here again. I'm so excited to say that scuff is actually selling my faceplate separately now. So if you already have a scuff controller, you can actually go ahead and just buy a faceplate for your controller. This is so exciting and long overdue. So if you guys want to check it out, check out the description. But now let's go ahead and hop into some Call of Duty. Here we are back on some CODs for today's video. If you go to the event tab, we have one day left of this cryptid boot camp and I have not completed a single challenge in it. So let's go ahead and do that today. Specifically, what I want to prioritize are these two Mothman things because I gotta tell you right now, the Mothman legend was an hour away from my hometown. Of all the cryptids and all the urban legends, I have an attachment to Mothman. But there's quite a few things here that we can unlock as well. And I believe there's even a way to do it in zombies too. You can toggle each challenge and you can unlock it either in multiplayer or zombies. And I love having that option. 20 operated kills with throwing knives, cool. 51 shot kills with a sniper. Oh, that's easy. I could, oh, we might start with that. 40 operated kills with the marksman rifle, conversion aftermarket part equipped well, using the threat identification system and stalker boots perks. That is so complicated. Why did you do that, Call of Duty? I have to write this down. What? Two operating kills with shotgun or melee weapons in one life 15 times. That'd be a great time to use the Karambit and level that up. 75 operating kills with suppressor equipped while using ghost. I love this little guy. I don't know who he is or what he wants, but he is staring. He sees ya. 20 enemy equipment or kill streaks with a storm and oh, okay, sure. 20 operated melee kills while in smoke. Hmm. And 75 operated kills while using the covert sneakers and black light flashlight perks. Oh, that's so cute. It like goes with the emblem. But there's a theme here. And after all is said and done, we get this battle rifle blueprint. So let's go ahead and hop in. Well, let me make a class first. How do I know which marksman rifles have an aftermarket part? I actually don't even know how those things work yet. Because the only marksman rifle I have to level 30 is the KVD Enforcer. Everything else is still level one. <laughs> For the sake of this video, we'll start with the one shot kills with sniper rifles. We'll get this and we'll move from there. Sound good? I'll throw the suppressor onto my longbow class just so that we can get two challenges done with one stone. Yes. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into quick play. Wow. Just kidding. 10 me 10 mosh pit. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, I forgot I have a little guy charm on here. He's so good. Why don't I use him on other weapons? Oh no, well, that's not gonna be a one-shot kill, is it? Hmm. Are you serious? Is throwing a suppressor really going to decrease the damage that much, really? That's a one-shot kill. Okay, I have to take the suppressor off. Or it's just a longbow, really, I think. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, thank you. One shot kill. One shot kill. I'm not about to count on my one shot kills. I'm just gonna snipe if that's okay with y'all. I'm also going to adjust my posture here. <laughs> I gotta remember to do that. One shot kill. I'm not gonna count. Oh. You guys didn't see that. You saw that though. You didn't see that. Sounds about right. My favorite, hit markers. How'd you get up there? I didn't know you could do that in this game. I know you could in the old games. Okay, really? That's a one shot kill. That's a one shot kill. That was really rude. One shot kill. A one shot kill. Can you tell that I'm warming up? Oh, defeat. <laughs> Great timing. Sound like you're chewing on nutsack. 
Are you serious? Are you, what, what is the re, I, whatever, dude. Crowd community, y'all are so creative. Just double checking. We got a couple of one-shot kills here, which is good. I thought I was getting the suppressor ones. No? Well, the suppressor equip I'll use in the, oh, I forgot to put on ghost. Oh. <laughs> So this one, right? Yeah, my bad. Back in we go. Wow. So I want to talk about super quick. So if you guys don't know, my original hometown, which would be my hometown, yes, my hometown is Ashland, Kentucky. Ashland, Kentucky is pretty much on the east side of Kentucky. It's in the tri-state area between West Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. It's on the Ohio River. Basically, you cross the river and you're in a different state. Well, it just so happens that West Virginia and the town that Mothman originates from and where the statue currently is, is an hour from my hometown. I remember specifically being younger and being told, hey, if you're not inside by a certain time, Mothman's gonna come out and get you. And I'm like, well, who's Mothman? I had family and family friends telling me that. Pretty scary when you're just a little baby. That's a one-shot kill. That's not a one-shot kill. Does it count as a one-shot kill if somebody else weakens them? I actually don't know. I think so. Because it's taking one shot to kill them, you know? Why didn't I just line that up? Oh, cool. We traded. That's a friend, Hannah. Oh, his name was in front of the blue sign. That's not fair. <laughs> I locked onto its head, though. Much like I did to you. And you. Not you. Not you. I'm getting one shot kills. Progress is being made. What the heck was I saying? So I was younger and I didn't even know who Mothman was, but when an adult says, hey, you better get back inside before it's dark or else Mothman's gonna get you. Obviously it's gonna scare you as a kid and make you curious. But of course I was just a wee little baby, so I didn't pay no mind to it. I was curious, but didn't really think too much about it until I was in my teens. And somebody had mentioned Mothman at school and I said, Wait a minute, I know that name. So I learned a little bit about the Mothman legend in school, but I got curious and decided to look up YouTube videos online. Terrible mistake, might I add. What are you doing? Look at you crawling. <laughs> really? Thank you. You know, one of the wonderful things about YouTube is that really anybody can contribute to YouTube and make some really cool content. But also the double-edged sword of that is anybody can contribute to YouTube and make content, even with malicious intent. And somebody made a Mothman jump scare YouTube video. I have no idea where it is or if it even exists anymore. If it does, I'll put it down below. I don't want to look it up. I'm not going to look it up. You can find it yourself. It was supposed to be just a history of Mothman video, but nope, it was a jump scare of Mothman in your face with the bright red eyes and it scared me and I'm pretty sure I cried. <laughs> That's a one shot kill. Thank you very much. Is everybody clocked in at Burger Town right now? Hello? They destroyed Wilson so fast, I'm so sad. Now I will destroy them. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. Long story short, I have a fascination with Mothman, and I think that jump scare YouTube video kind of contributed to it. It made him seem a little bit more scary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can't let me win, that's not good. Hello. Goodbye. He was AFK. Don't talk to me. I was one off a wheel saying. Yeah, I get it. Oh god. That's a one shot kill. Wow, it's a one shot kill. Wilson! Hi Wilson! Wait! No! No! Yeah. Feet. We're making progress. Only 11 more to get this calling car with Mothman on it. I really want this guy though, but I have to level up a marksman rifle and unlock the aftermarket part to do it. So I will work on this probably offline a little bit. I like the rewards throughout this whole event. I think this is really fun. Totally random, but if you guys have a favorite urban legend, comment down below and let me know. Do you like Sasquatch? Do you like the Loch Ness Monster? Do you like Mothman as much as I do? I don't know if you do. Mothman's pretty cool. You know, actually, now that I think about it, growing up, one of my nicknames was Sasquatch. <laughs> Mostly because as a kid, I was a tiny, tiny kid with itty bitty little hands and tiny feet. So, you know, obviously, out of sarcasm, I was called Sasquatch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that interesting. Interesting. That should be a one shot kill. That is a one shot kill. <laughs> I don't know why 360 in this game so much. It's just really fun. Like, why not do a spin move, you know? All right, it takes forever to mantle stuff, but I understand. I need to snipe more often. <laughs> That's not good. Interesting.
Ooh, that's a one-shot kill, isn't it? Why am I not using the XRK Stalker? I'm just now realizing this. <laughs> it's a little bit more suitable for the playstyle I'm going for. Does it count? Oh, I got a hit marker! I don't scope the guy! Did you hear that? What is this dude doing back here? Do you see him just moving and shaking? Hello. How are you? Okay. Take any one more? What, what? That piece of paper tripped me up. Did you see him? He flew in my face. It scared me. That should be it. Did I get an unlock? No! Okay. Yay. I'm gonna go ahead and level up this marksman rifle. I'm actually gonna pop a double weapon XP token here too. Oh, is it double XP everything? I hope so. I'm going to hardcore. That was fun. Did we unlock it? We did! Look! I'm gonna go ahead and equip him. I like him. Making progress on this one. I just really need to level up the marksman rifle. So with that being said, I'm gonna take a little break from recording and I will see you in a bit once I level up the marksman rifle and get the aftermarket part. So sneeze transition. Are you ready? Here we go. Ah, chew. And we're back. It's still the same day, but I got cold, so I put on a sweatshirt. I did a little bit of gaming offline, but I also didn't check the store until now. There's a Mothman bundle, and look at this dude. Y'all know me. I don't buy bundles very often, but this one, like, it hits close to home. Really, like, my hometown. I wish it had some red glowing eyes, though. That makes more sense, but that's okay. This is still sick. I've been working slowly but surely on these challenges. I had to unlock the Marksman Rifle conversion kit, so I did that. So we're going to work on this and get this little Mothman charm. I'm here for the Mothman. Let's hop into hardcore. Yeah, sure. Why? Wait. TDM, domination, kill confirmed. Yeah, let's do that. Why? I also realized during recording this video, I haven't even told you guys the story of Mothman, if you all are familiar or not. Long story short, back in the 1960s up in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, a couple saw a man-sized bird of some sort with red glowing eyes just kind of hanging out. Somebody in the game is named Mothman. Oh, there's rumors saying that he chased them in their car or something. I don't know if that's true. I mean, obviously this is an urban legend, so who knows? But more sightings of Mothman seem to start popping up around the same time, especially around the Ohio River and a specific dam. Or maybe it wasn't a dam. I think it was a bridge. That's what it was, a bridge. And he was hanging out around this bridge. People were wondering what was going on. And then one day, tragically, the bridge collapsed into the water. Oh my gosh, it's a burst fire now. This is weird. Oh my gosh, I am- I am not- okay. Nice. It was an extremely unfortunate and tragic event, but after all was said and done, Mothman suddenly disappeared and he hasn't been seen since. Some people think that Mothman was a bringer of bad luck. Other people think that he was trying to tell people, hey, get away from the bridge. Something bad's gonna happen. I don't know if we'll ever get full clarification to this day. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask Mothman. But there is a festival that is dedicated to him up in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where he was originally first sighted. I shot, hello. And I have wanted to go to this festival for so long. My entire life, I've wanted to go. Well, ever since I knew about Mothman. It's an hour away from my hometown, but my parents said, eh, it's not really worth going. It's just a statue, you know? You're just gonna look at it, take a picture and go. And I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. And you know what? Now that I'm almost 30 years old, I think the next time I go up to Kentucky, I'm gonna go visit that statue. It's an hour from my hometown. I'm gonna do it. And I will be so excited about it. And now we play the game. Hello, Mothman. Look, it's Mothman. Very good. The kick on this thing is wild. Whew. I dislike this gun with a burning passion, but I will do what it takes to get that little Mothman plushy. All right, Shielder. Defeat, whoo. I forgot to equip the other stuff besides the aftermarket part. I'm going to scream. And the threat identification, that should be it. How did I do that? What we're gonna do is, no. Small map and meet 24 seven, send it, wow. Why does it take so long to reload this thing? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> the kick on this thing is wild. I just gotta keep pulling down as I shoot. I just spawned. Nice. No, 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 no. Oh no. Sorry, teammate. Oh, good, oh, good. I'm always very thankful when we're playing hardcore and I accidentally kill a teammate. They're like, no, it's fine. Makes me feel better. <laughs> I think the secret with this variant is to not sprint and to avoid explosions. That probably will help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I just casually walk, I'll get kills. I couldn't even see you. I am so sick of a variant. Okay. If I explode one more time. <laughs> 
I wonder if this thing's better on core. I might try after this. Or if I just keep casually strolling. No, I'm just gonna explode. This will be my last game of hardcore. <laughs> I wish I could put on a perk that prevents explosive damage, but I don't think I can with the uh, setup that I have. <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time I explode now. <laughs> Small magazine, too. All these tags. Oh no. I'm alive! I didn't even get exploded by my own teammates! I got a UAV. I know that's nothing crazy, but any celebration I will take. <laughs> got an equipment kill with this, the, what is this thing called again? <laughs> I probably have the little Mothman plushie by now. I believe my game just died. I think I blue screened or no, I, uh, dev error. Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Dev error. I wonder if my stuff tracked. I really hope so. Please, please. We got him. Yes. Thank goodness. Yay. Thank you. I think I want to melee on shipment or whatever small map I can find. So let's do that so we can get these two challenges done too. I might have been a melee in the smoke. Maybe. I'm going to be a nuisance on shipment and just knife everybody. Nope, oh, nope, oh, you are too, huh? <laughs> Enter the smoke. Do it. There's not a math man in the smoke, I promise. Enter the smoke, people. Why not? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should do a fully knife dedicated video. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. I do my camo grind. Absolutely, I will. <gasps> oh, everybody's here. Maybe I shouldn't do a knifing video. I should practice first. That's a friend. Don't knife a friend. Advice for the day. Don't knife a friend. That was not a friend. Neither are you. No, come back. No. No. Hello. Goodbye. That's a knife in the smoke. Did you see that? Maybe you didn't because there was smoke. I understand if you didn't see it. Maybe I'm kind of accurate with these throwing knives. The more practice, huh? Three, we'll take it. Top leaderboard with 36 kills. How much progress did we make? We got all these done. All the throwing knife kills done. Nice. And then working on this, we got about uh, about a third done. Pretty good. Oh, we got eight of these in one game. Were you serious? That's really good. Oh, I didn't know there were little police boats out there. That's cool. Have they always been there? I don't recall them. That might have been two in the smoke. I'm not sure. I'm flashed. That's one of the smoke. Am I alive? No. Okay, I just spawned. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> if I keep swinging in the smoke, I'll get my kills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked! <laughs> Alright, so here's the plan throw smoke on the objective, hang out on the objective, keep swinging. <laughs> objective player. Yes! Oh my gosh, it's working! No, 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 no! Did I get a kill? I did! <laughs> He's right there! Did it? Did that count? I don't know. Did that count? Does that count? <laughs> like, I'm just asking over and over, does that count? Look at me! Look at me! This is how I play COD! I swear I've been playing COD for more than half my life. Where is this guy? Okay? My method may not be the most efficient, but you gotta admire the will, the drive, the power, objective player. <laughs> ah! Yes! Yes, come here! No! Yes! Does that count as destroying enemy equipment? I blew up his breacher drone in his face! <gasps> that was sick! Oh my gosh, do we win? We win, look how close that game is. Victory, people! 16 captures, top of the leaderboard, objective player! That's me. Let's check out the progress we made. We got all the double kills with the melee weapon. We got all the smoke melee weapon kills. Surprisingly enough, the last thing we gotta do is this, which I don't even know if we'll have time for. I might grind this one offline. I'm gonna do a sneeze transition if that's agreeable. Okay. <laughs> Ah, two. Hello, I'm back. It's very dark in here. I thought I would fit the Mothman vibe. Red. So I did a little bit of offline mining and I went ahead and completed this. So I was supposed to do the 20 enemy killstreak stuff.
but that was not happening. So I went ahead and did the 75 brain raw zombie kill. So yay, we did it. We got the thing. This thing right here. It's been done. Yay. Cool, don't get me wrong. Definitely love all of the urban legends and cryptids on it, but I will say I'm mostly here for Mothman. Loch Ness Monster, you're cool. Sasquatch, you're cool. Everybody else, you're, you're pretty cool. Mothman, though. My favorite. I love my happy little pumpkin, but let's see if we have Mothman. There he is. Oh my gosh, I have to see what he looks like. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, he is so cute. I love him. I'll be using him for a while. What in the world? Are you so okay? I have no words besides look at the little moth man. He's so cute. I will get one kill with him. That was fun. Was that an optic skin? I am so sorry. I'm gonna leave now. There we have it. Yay, we did the whole Cryptid Week event challenge thing. That was fun. I need to do these more often. I need to get back to the swing of things. And it was really fun to talk about Mothman because I kind of have a little special connection to it with my hometown. I hope that you guys learned something today or were at least slightly entertained by the video. Uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. But that's all I've got. Like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. My fan.